Today, the video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna walk through how to basically test um, the new Flare Networks uh, F assets that are on the beta network at the minute, which I think is called, uh, they're, they're called Costin. I don't know if that's generic across different chains, but for Flare, it's the, it's the Costin testnet. Basically, what we're gonna do is walk through how we mint FXRP basically. So what's going to happen is, and what you need for this actually is you need a Bifrost wallet. One thing that you will need before you start is a Bifrost wallet. You can download it on your phone. Um, simple to do. That's where I keep my Flare anyway. I have my Flare delegated in there and in my monthly rewards and also my like every three daily rewards from yeah, just having it having it delegated. So you have to wrap it, delegate it, and you can get your monthly Flare drop. Those of you who don't know, you can also stake Flare to earn yield that way. It's not something I've explored yet for one reason or another. I think as I've gone further in my crypto journey, I get more and more scared to test different things because the value in USD of my crypto has gone up so much over time that I'm always scared to make mistakes now. Whereas when I was new to the journey and probably way more fresh faced, uh, I would just click about and do whatever because I didn't really care about getting hacked or anything going wrong. But now, yeah, I just get more worried because there's more on the line, I guess. And also reputation and pride, like I get worried about that. But anyway, getting away from that. It's super, super easy to do this, guys. I'm going to give you the literal walkthrough right now. So first off, we're just going to go to the Flare Twitter page. So just find Flare Networks on, on Twitter, just because I don't want anyone clicking anything stupid. Literally just go on Twitter, Flare Networks. First, pin tweet, open it up, bang this cost link in the tweet. It's going to take you to this lovely page here. And then from here, we're going to hit connect and then you're going to hit Wallet Connect. It's going to bring up this QR code. Oh, actually, I've, I've missed one step already because you don't have to do this step first because you need the Bifrost Wallet first. But then once you've got the Bifrost Wallet, what you actually need to do in step one before you scan that QR code that I've just shown you is hit this button here, Enable Developer Mode here. It's going to tell you what to do. Literally go on your settings, go to the Advanced section. Um, if you, say, if you scroll down a little bit to where it says Advanced, and then literally tap this developer mode to put it on. It's gonna put you in developer mode. It's gonna make it look like you've got no assets in your Bifrost wallet. So you can do this with a fresh Bifrost wallet if that makes you more comfortable. Um, and it's gonna put you on, on the Costin network. Um, so you can do things like testing uh, F assets uh, in, this, in this beta. So then after that, you will connect your Bifrost wallet by clicking those two links I said there get this QR code up, scan that, great, you're on and you're ready to rock and roll. And then we go on to the next stage of this, which is, give me one second, I need to change my screens, this stage here. So let's get into this. So then what you have to do is, this is me already completing it because I was just having an experiment to see what goes on. What you have to do then guys, is you hit your, get your test XRP here. You then go back to this first network. So what would have happened is it would have connected to your Bifrost wallet um, by scanning that QR code. You will have different addresses here. You will hit the get your test XRP. It will take you to BitThumb, which is, well, test BitThumb, which is basically like XRP scanner, like where if you don't know much about the technical side of things, you don't really need to know too much, but this is quite good information to know, like, and learn about if you, if you, are interested in the ecosystem. This is where you can track transactions and see like what you're holding in your wallet and where you can where you've sent things in the past. Obviously, this is just a test version because we're just testing F assets here. So we've hit get your test XRP. You'll go back. You'll copy your XRP address. You'll go back here. You'll paste it in. Very simple. They'll save you. Then you press, I promise to write a neat code covered with tests and comments. You said, send me the XRP. I don't think it will work, but I've already done it. Let's see, it'll probably tell me, don't be naughty and try and do it twice because I've already done it once. Let's see what happens. It will say awaiting activation like this. 
and something like this will come out. This is basically saying, here, look, oh, it's, I think it has sent me another thousand. One thing that you do need to do once it's sent you out, when you go back to the F assets page, is you do need to refresh. I've got another 1000 XRP look in there. Basically, this is just saying that uh, this is the transaction hash, so that's my specific transaction, and they've sent me the 1000 XRP. This uh, transaction here is actually me wrapping the XRP to make it um, FXRP, but we'll get into that in a second. So the next thing you need to do is get your CFLR, which is your cost and flare. You hit that, it will take you to the, the test net, and then you go back, as I said, you get the flare address, which is just below XRP here. Copy that, bang it in there. Lovely, request. Oh, it's not gonna let me request anymore. Fair enough. Let's see if I can mint any more anyway. I've got some C flare. It might not let me because I can mint 50 lots. Okay, let's see if that does it. Let's have a little look. It does like to, there you go, look. It's, so flare basically over collateralizes um, on the FXRP. It, once, We've wrapped like that, so we've got look, 46 C flare remaining, 980 F uh, test XRP, and 1000 test XRP because obviously you've got the second amount. It's not worth anything, guys. But what you can do with this, or one, one thing that is cool about this, is you have the chance to win or, or receive an airdrop from Flare. So just doing this and participating in the network, you're doing a few things, you're learning for free without any. Um, worry about any of your funds getting exposed you're participating in the network to help in the flare network and and uh, testing like the robustness of the network doing act like making actions on the network and finally you've got the chance to be rewarded in an airdrop just for doing this so it's been really cool to do guys so we've we've minted the uh FXRP, we can redeem some. I'm just going to redeem two just to see what the system's saying here. And so it's going to cost 0.1 flare, 0.04 um, XRP to redeem. We're going to redeem two um, FXRPs. You've got to confirm it in your Bifrost wallet. So you go to Bifrost. Let me just open it up on my phone. Opening it. Cool. It wants to do. The network, the transaction is there. You hit confirm. Transaction submitted on my phone. Let's see what happens. Give it 15 seconds, it says. Um, one thing that it does take is a little while to mint it all into FXRP. I think it took me like four or five minutes, but it does tell you that it's going to take that amount of time uh, as you're doing it. So nothing to worry about too much. And all of a sudden, bang, we've got our uh, FXRP, uh, our XRP, sorry. Uh, unwrap there so pretty simple guys go over and check it out yourself i definitely recommend you got a chance of getting an airdrop from just messing around and learning about uh, the flare ecosystem flares and i think it's going to be massive this cycle i've been emailing their team to try and get myself in there so if you know anyone at flare um let them know that i'm interested in just helping them out in whatever way i can like i want to be involved i think flare is going to be big for the future but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did and you found it useful please share it and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below peace up a town down as i should say